humid 40 degrees blue skies home of the broncos mile high stadium with its giants flashes of orange the home field advantage denver this has been a happy place to play no team in the national football league has won more at home in the last four years than the denver broncos that's the challenge facing the cleveland browns i can remember being up in denver uh, championship game you have to get there two days before 48 hours we got there friday hey we had saturday in the city and i can remember during warm-ups, I was running. We were running off the field after warm-ups. Amar Rashad said, "Have a good game," and I said, "I will." Really? I will. I knew I was gonna have a good game. The second play of the game, we go into the I formation. Reggie Langhorn comes across, motion across. This is the scheme we ran the whole game. We can't hear nothing. The crowd is nuts. We're backed up into that horseshoe, and it's, ah, you could just feel it all through the body. All those vibrations, it was like, oh, jeez. Stop! It almost feels like you just stop, please. Ball snap, hand off to me. I go up through there, three, four yard gain. But I met Denny, Smith and I met in that hole and it was like BOW! That's what it felt like. I bounced off, fell for. He bounced over, fell down on the ground. And I, I don't know, I felt that I know he had to feel it. Because <laughs> it seemed like he, when, when he was getting up to look at the, I mean, he was like, like man. But yeah. This is how it begins. So we go about this game and we end up getting down 21 to three at halftime. Now, we had some plays, fumbles, um, interception. You know, so we, got, we, we earned our way into the 21-3 deficit. But I do remember coming out in the second half and some plays being made. Seven minutes left in the third quarter. Koza to Biner. Well thrown. Ernest Biner. Touchdown. Because we ran a play action on, on this one play. Ran a play action. And after the play, if my, if my guy, my pass blocking responsibility didn't come, then I would I have a five-yard check down that I had to run. So I ran the five yard check down. Bernie looks downfield, nothing's down there. And for some reason, I just felt it. Felt to turn and start out. And Bernie kind of ran up towards me and he lobbed the ball to me. Mecklenburg, I had gotten behind Mecklenburg some kind of way. Lobbed the ball to me. And I beat Lily to the right corner pylon. Third and about four or five. We had four wides. They had me as the left, I'm, I'm, I'm the lone runner on the left side of the uh, offensive formation. And I got a seam route. Bernie, perfect pass, perfect touch. Voodoo, run. Come on, run. Lily comes, make a move on him. Boom, he grabbed me, take me down. Unspoken again. Feel for each other. Knowing what one is going to do based on the experiences, based on what's in here, what we feel. Burn. E.B. K-Mag. How we block for each other. How we had a feel for each other. When one had a game going that we knew that the guy had that, that mojo that particular day. 
And if it was a run play call for me and K-Mac had that mojo, boom, K-Mac, you take it. And it was the same for me. If I had it going that day, K-Mac knew it, it was called for here, boom, uh, EB, you take it. Ernest Biner, touchdown Cleveland. Biner's second score of this third quarter. Yeah! Yeah! We in this. Bam! Went up through there. Safety coming down. Cut away from him. Lily coming up again. Boom! Put the shoulder on him. Drag him. Huh? 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 Giving it all. Couple passes to Brian Brennan. Option route. Brian was magnificent at that little hook route. Nobody could cover Brian. They knew we were going to throw him that ball on 34, 35, and couldn't stop him. He made Denny look like he was a, like a child. Catch it. Burn it. Boom. Nice. Boom. Nice touch. Boom. Turn up the field. You want to be in the game, got to be in the game. The game depends on me. I got to play. I got to make the play. My play was called. This play had been called earlier in this drive. Same play. And I bounced it the same way that I did in early in the play. And I can remember, <laughs> I can remember Dick Emberg say very, very softly, when I made that move and cut it outside and and, and got, a, got a couple more yards off of it. Ooh, what a move. Biner, what a move. <laughs> when I was in, I'm laughing now because that's what, when, I, when I heard it the other day, I was like, mm, acknowledgement. So they called my number again, second and five. Same play, it was a trap. Play bounced before because the guy wrong-armed it. This time it bounces because they blitz and they cross-face the tight end. So I dip and I bounce it and I don't get up field right away, but I get up field. And I'm looking at Lily. But Lily hadn't stopped me all day. I'm not feeling this out here. I feel this out here. There's a defender out there. So I get ready to run over Lily. I pull the ball in. Get ready to lower my shoulder. Let it go so that this guy would fall off so I can run over Lily. Ball comes out. Fumble. Draw to Biner. Ernest Biner. Fumble. Fumble the ball and Denver has recovered. Oh my. There it is. Denver's ball at the two yard line. A tumble. Tumble forward. Tumble into the end zone. The entire. I have nothing left. And I messed it up. On my back. Turn over. Work my way up. I can see Brian Brennan coming over. didn't tie the game. How do you heal from that? What has prepared me for this? Nothing.
but it's prepared me to handle this failure. After each mistake in my career, it always motivated me to go back and get it right, to make it right some kind of way.